Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mushok Tensei episode number 8. Okay, uh, the previous episode it was Eris's birthday and there was this whole section of uh, like Eris learning how to dance and also like Rudius also learning how to dance and uh, the birthday kind of went uh, it was a little bit of a problem in the beginning but it went well uh, thanks to Rudius and also then like in the end we saw um, something hovering in the sky um, I'm not sure what that was it looked like uh, you know uh, like one of those like things uh, black holes <laughs> that sucks everything like into it it looked like something like that like you know it had like it had a small little ball and had two rings around it it looked like those rings that you know that planets have like the saturn has the planets the rings those type of rings or you can also say uh, like it looked like uh, something uh, like what does that remind me of like it's oh um, it reminds me of uh, electron and protons, you know, the atomic structure where there's the, I think it's the proton, yeah, the proton has electrons around it and it has those rings, you know, I forgot what they're called, but it reminded me of that, you know, when like I learned chemistry and all in my, you know, in my school and college, <laughs> you, have, you have to draw it in, in the like, uh, like you have to draw it, draw the atomic structure of a lot of things. So it reminded me of that. I was thinking, like, what the hell was that? It, I've like seen something like that before. I could not like put my finger on it. So it, it was something like that. Anyways, uh, like I'm talking about something completely different. Uh, so anyways, um, in my opinion, that is something quite bad and quite serious. But obviously, Rudius does not think so. Rudius thinks that, oh God, what the hell is that? Oh my god, some kind of insect got into my room. <sighs> uh, so yeah, as I was saying, um, so Rudius thinks that it's something else, like uh, girls will start raining from it, <laughs> he thinks. <laughs> so let's see who, who, like, which one of us are correct. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get started with um, episode number 8 of Mushoku Tensei. Alright, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to which I use your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. What the hell? Wait, what was that? What hair was that? Okay. Alright, Eris can, you know, 10. Oh, whoa, damn. Um, I think that's pretty. S Rudius, I think it's something that you should probably be concerned about, you know, like not every day you see something like that hovering in front of your house so <laughs> like <laughs> i don't know like anyways let's just watch we've not seen the visuals of the opening like it's episode 8 so I'm guessing this like anime doesn't have any visuals for the opening on or what? Hmm. Like you know, I can kind of see like uh, not showing the opening kind of extends the uh, you know duration of the episode. Like Rizzo does it as well, but you know like openings like that's one of the things that we adore like we anime fans who have been watching anime for so much so long like openings and endings are like the staple portion of an anime episode and like the way ReZero does it like in one or two episodes it kind of shows the opening it's okay but not like not having an opening at all is i think not good 
<laughs> like I don't know. I want to see some openings. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Oh, some kind of secret? Oh. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. What different family? Oh, yeah. Paul Nottles Grey Red. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, that's great news. <laughs> mm. Okay. Um, what's with her mom? Like, she seems pretty pissed off with Rudius. Ten years. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's his tenth birthday, so ten years. So he's forty. <laughs> oh, then <laughs> they're keeping it a secret from him. Um, Rudy! <laughs> oh, yeah, he got it. Oh. What, you're showing his figurines? Oh! Ghislaine's figurine. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um Damn. <laughs> Um, oh, she's just knocking. It's knocking. <laughs> um, bad timing. <coughs> mm. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Um R Rudy I I like he he's a great, you know, great <laughs> Good job, Rudy. Good job. Wow, he is, you know, yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait, she has something more? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, he has not seen them for so long, you know. Yeah, what? Eh? 
Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Wait, she took a complete 360 or... Oh no, 180, sorry. 360 means... Okay. What the hell is that? Damn, that's a huge stuff. Name is Damn. Wow, look at it. Yeah, like it has a <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this will I'm sure increase his power even more. What was the name? Aqua Aqua something? <laughs> okay, the mom really uh, surprised me. Like, I'm not expecting something like that. <clears throat> Two brothers, one older and one. Oh. In the capital to Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. She did. So, like, what changed her? Mu uh, I'm guessing, uh, like, seeing Rudy kind of, you know, sad. <laughs> Rudy kind of sad when, like, uh, learning that his parents have not come. <laughs> um. Oh my God! This guy is. Wait. Is there something? Is there something in the drink? I'm feeling as if something is in the drink. Or I might be wrong. Okay, I, I might be wrong. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Wait, what's she doing here? Wait, what? But, but, but I doubt Philip said her to like. Oh, what the? I was I was not expecting that. What the hell? Uh. Wait, he, he was dreaming that? Oh, he was dreaming that. I was thinking, like, what the hell? But how much old are these? How old? Like, okay, I, I, 
I can understand Rudy, but she's 10, isn't she? Or, or 11. Oh, I can kind of understand one thing, like, most probably because, you know, this is like a medieval setting. Uh, wait, is this also a dream or not? Um, Rudy, Rudy, R oh my God. What? Oh, damn! Uh, oh! Um. Hmm. All right, everything went well. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she she stomped him. Yeah, Rudy. <laughs> Rudy, you're you're a ten year old kid. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, still here. <laughs> Five years. Okay, it's better than 10, I guess. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> like, 15 is better than 10. <laughs> you know, the thing that, like, bothered me is not Rudy. It's, 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 like, Eris. Like, she's 10, you know. Like, that kind of bothered me. Like, Rudy is, like... Over 40, like, uh, but like, technically, he is like 10, but that's like still, like, I, I'm kind of confused at this, anyways. <laughs> oh, wait, five years means he leave. What the hell? Oh, yeah, Sylph is also there. Oh, my god. Wait, five years means, yeah. Wait, is this Paul? Yeah, it's Paul, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this is the monster problem that I'm having. Oh, this is, I forgot, Norn. Whoa, she she's quite big now. I mean, what the hell? How much old are these kids? She's already wiping tables. What the hell? Oh, this is a music box? Oh, 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 I was thinking, okay, I, I, I got what that is. That's the holy treasure or whatever he calls it. <laughs> All right, that's good. Oh yeah, that's quite true. Scariest demons. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah. Damn, he is extremely, you know, tired. What the hell? Yeah, what is that cloud? <laughs> this prince. What? What's happening? Whoa, who is this? Damn, he looks powerful. Whoa. Woo, damn, look at him. Oh. oh his eyes and also the scales in his uh like skin the dragon scales oh the dragon went away all right <laughs> Wait, who is this? A lot of new characters. What the? Um, what? <laughs> oh, that thing. That. Seeking to undo the seal of the demon god. Whoa, and a lot of new characters. Okay, I need time to remember the names. Okay. Damn, yeah, I knew it. Like this wand will, you know, enhance his power. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god like imagine like how much power this will gather oh my god oh yep there it is like i knew something's going to happen um no wait what is that What's with her eye? What? Whoa! What the? Who is this? <clears throat> oh, this is that guy we saw. <clears throat> Al-Manfi <coughs> Pergius
Oh, okay. What sus? Oh, wait. Whoa. What is that? What the turning point one? What the hell happened? Whoa, okay, so... Alright, so that was surprising, like, I expected something to happen, like, you know, that thing that was hovering around. Um, but, like, 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 I did not expect it so quickly to happen, but obviously, like, like, as this show, you know, uh, kind of time skips and everything so yeah and <clears throat> but like I did I was not expecting something like that I thought maybe it was going to you know kind of you know spawn some kind of monster or something you know from the sky I don't know like I, I thought something like that was probably going to happen and like you know Gilday and Rudius and they would go to slay that monster or something maybe that was like a, you know a portal to some other dimension or something I thought something like that <laughs> Like, you know, uh, monsters from other dimension will come and like you'll, they'll get a mission or something and they'll fight against it and Rudy will get more power. So I thought something like that was going to happen, but like it was a nuke, like what the hell, it blew the whole place out. I think so, yeah. And they were just, you know, standing at the, the closest to that thing. So I'm not sure what that actually was, like. I doubt that is something dangerous, like if, if it was something, some kind of a bomb or something, you know, that would blow the whole place out. Like Rudy, Ghislaine and, uh, oh, what's her name, Eris, they would probably not survive, you know, by being so close to that thing. So I doubt it's something of that nature because obviously, but who knows, maybe not, maybe like, you know, Ghislaine would uh, like do something and, you know. Uh, I'm not sure like let's just wait for the next episode <clears throat> Okay, so this episode this was the first half was quite you know light-hearted and everything uh, There's this whole thing with Rudy's um, uh, What do you call it uh, Rudy's birthday now? <clears throat> here's the thing so uh, like the first thing that surprised me in this episode was um, Hilda that is um, Eris's mom now so like the way like obviously the way she kind of looked at rudy it seemed as if she like you know did not like rudy at all <clears throat> in a lot of you know uh, moments uh, throughout the episode like throughout the anime we saw now so like when she suddenly came and like you know became emotional uh, seeing rudy and like hugged him i thought that oh maybe she is you know uh, just like eris like in a way because you know a uh, hard exterior but soft interior that kind of a character uh, maybe you know uh, the way she acted <laughs> does not portray her real inner feelings so i thought maybe it was that but turns out uh, that is kind of the case and also not the kind of the uh, case because um, as f f uh, like uh, eris's dad said that eris had two siblings one older and, another, and one younger so like uh, for the succession or whatever the like the the problems that are happening uh like uh <clears throat> i think the, what did she say the elder or the young both of them i cannot remember both of them uh took them yeah took them right after the birth so both of them uh, both of his like her brothers were taken by the uh, like the capital because of the whole thing with the succession that's going on and stuff yeah and obviously like hilda 
like objected and i'm sure like uh elisa's uh, dad also uh, like could have objected but him being the you know uh, like uh the head of his family he could not show that uh, kind of emotion you know like the heads are supposed to be strong you know that kind of a thing like so he was unable to show his inner feelings anyways um so obviously hilda being the mother she was not happy about that and seeing rudius kind of reminded her of his own children and like she did not like uh, rudy in that sense because you know uh, like she thought that uh, like yeah rudy is here so why is my like uh, children not here with me like what like have they done to like suffer like this and like you know it's kind of a weird emotion you know it's kind of a little bit of an envy envious type of thing like seeing rudy but thinking that ah oh, my children could have also been here so why is this child who like is not at all related to us uh, like <clears throat> running around in my house and why must my children suffer like that so something like that you know some that kind of an emotion like that made her kind of hateful towards him uh, but at the same time like <clears throat> because she cared about his children uh, her children she also was able to you know uh, like you know she was also able to sympathize with rudy because in a way uh, the things that her children are facing you know alone in the capital without anyone uh, to call their own family you know own mom or own uh, dad like in the capital like rudy is also in the same position you know like there is no real family you know like surrounding him like paul and zenith are not here and so like that's also the reason why hilda was able to um understand the pain in a sense the emotional thing that rudy is going through without having anyone uh like close by so that's why i'm sure like she kind of you know when uh, like uh, <clears throat> like rudy at the, like rudy uh, at the beginning was kind of acting the whole thing with like oh you did this for me i'm so happy and crying that was kind of an acting but the second thing that he did when like uh, eris said that i have another surprise for you rudy said oh so uh, like is my mom and dad coming like that was not acting like that was definitely not an acting that was his genuine you know uh, genuine feelings like he really wanted to uh, like uh, <clears throat> like <clears throat> wanted his mom and dad so like after that learning that her his mom and dad was unable to come in because of the monsters he became sad and i'm sure like looking at that hilda kind of felt the pain that she, like rudy is going through because obviously her children must have been also feeling the same pain in the capital so i'm sure that kind of changed the moment like changed her and she became <clears throat> like sympathetic towards rudy and went there and hugged him and said that like <laughs> i'll adopt you <laughs> and said that uh, like okay like adoption like even if i don't adopt you you can marry eris and <laughs> we'll be family <laughs> stuff like that she started saying so yeah and <clears throat> yeah and uh, also another thing um next the next scene kind of surprised me a little bit that is the whole uh, thing with elsa's dad okay here's the thing like uh, when uh, elsa's dad says that she'll you know leave eris uh, tie her hands and like stuff like that like indirectly saying that you should marry eris okay so here's the thing uh, rudy says take over the boris family wait hang on this is no joke i want no part on power struggles so now i'm not quite sure what she actually wanted with that conversation but as far as i can say like as i said before he is also affected by this you know uh, by like uh, his two sons not uh, being here he is also affected kind of the same way as hilda is affected but his problem is he cannot show it to everyone because he's supposed to be the head so yeah and i think that kind of 
was also the reason that he despised this whole power struggle that is going on so in a way he was you know kind of frustrated at this whole situation and he kind of casually said this to rudy that so why don't you you know marry eris and this kind of also showed that uh, like you know like marrying eris would kind of transfer the whole leadership to rudy as far as like, as i can understand you know the whole like head of the family will be he will become the head of the family when he comes uh, to age so like uh, like all of these kind of things and like the whole power struggle will kind of get you know will kind of get col like start collapsing in a way i'm not actually sure these kind of things like these kind of you know power struggle stuff and these kind of things kind of confuse me a bit so i'm not sure if i'm like you know properly able to understand the thing that like po like he tried to do but i think it's something like that so he casually you know kind of said that to rudy and when rudy's like said that oh no i don't want any, like thought that i don't want any like you know part in these kind of power struggles uh, like these messy kind of situations so and this in, then like rudy said that just let this be uh, you know a drunken talk like like let's just let it here uh, end here like i don't want to go further <laughs> into this discussion and like he said like oh is, is that so so what's such, what a shame then like after rudy goes like is, is going back like he looks a little you know sad like you know rudy looks back and sees that he like uh it's his dad is kind of looking upwards and like sitting in a melancholic mood um i think he kind of you know felt bad about the way he like approached this thing you know because in a way rudy is also a child so like he must have thought and uh, understood like he kind of made a mistake by like saying rudy these kind of things because like what will he do be able to do he's also a child he won't be able to like uh <clears throat> make all of these right you know and he was kind of uh like not thinking about that and, like brought this whole thing up in front of rudy so i think he felt bad about that so he was looking uh, like like you know kind of mel melancholic about the whole situation and he also uh, like understood that yeah like i myself am unable to do anything about this whole messy situation like why am i like like bringing all of this stuff in front of a 10 year old kid so yeah anyways i think it's something like that um at least like as i said like these kind of like things like these power struggles like who will become the king who will become the leader these kind of things kind of confuse me a little bit <laughs> so i might not be completely correct but anyways like that's how i interpreted it, the whole situation okay and then uh, the whole like scene with eris comes now here's the thing like you know um, i said this before like <clears throat> i'm not really concerned about rudy but the thing that kind of bothered me here was that eris herself was a 10 year old child now as he said like five years she said five years now i also said like 15 is better than 10 so like okay like and there in a you know in a lot of other like countries there the age of uh, i think consent is called yeah the age of consent is like uh 15 16 i think so like 15 is okay but 10 is i think a little bit too much they were going so like obviously like rudy like i i don't like i have no concern about rudy because you know and but i was really you know kind of bothered about the whole thing with eris but thankfully they did not like go in that direction so yeah okay fine and i think like uh, like after this episode uh, like uh becoming 15 is the least thing that you should be concerned about like you know the whole place blew up so <laughs> yeah anyways and oh also another thing like uh, another thing i like like you know like i've seen this in this you know in this anime especially in this world like people are a little bit too you know like like verbal about these kind of things especially in front of a child like you know there's this whole thing with paul teaching rudy about <laughs> this kind of stuff in like eight or nine years old i cannot remember what his actual age was at that moment but anyways and then there was this you know this uh, like a shopkeeper who was selling like aphrodisiac to rudy 
who was a 10 year old child and then there is also like uh, <coughs> like you know uh, Elisa's dad saying this kind of stuff to Rudy saying that like why don't you marry her like I'll like uh, you know uh, she'll be at your room stuff like this and uh, Eris herself was also like knew about these kind of things and was you know like quite like like you know what I'm trying to say like was like uh, waiting for Rudy in his room all of these kind of stuff the reason why like at such a young age these people are like this is because most probably like they are in a different world and this is like a medieval setting now in these kind of settings usually like you know uh, children especially like in royalty are married off early as far as I've seen you know because of political kind of reasons uh, like I think they're called political marriages or something you know like uh, a king like uh, appoints like uh, like marries off her daughter to another king's son like another prince so that you know the uh, <clears throat> the relationship between the two kingdoms can be good or something like that and they annex each like they got annexed into them like uh, kingdom stuff like these happen in these kind of situations so yeah like because of that like because this is a medieval setting I think each and every kid here like uh, 10 year old kids uh, and even earlier than that they know this kind of things they have the knowledge because like they are also trained I'm, I'm sure like they're also trained in a lot of things like you know uh, like good table manners how to like talk with uh, people uh, like how to like uh, <coughs> you know interact with noble people and stuff like these so like from a very young age so I think that is the reason why like like all of these people like they don't even care like like in front of a 10 year old child they can like say stuff like this so it's nothing like you know abnormal about uh, like the, the whole like the world is the setting is like this so like <laughs> like I like obviously like these kind of things um, like I don't know like 10 year old is a little bit too much in my opinion so but still you know the whole like these kind of things happened in the previous like uh, like a long ago you know so i think it's kind of like that the whole thing like we are you know being bothered by these kind of situations we are like uncomfortable looking at these kind of small little kind of situations but i'm sure like for them this is quite normal you know so yeah like uh, as far as you can see there's like this uh, whole thing with like um what do you call it paul and like uh, paul zenith like they are married and then like comes uh, what was her name the maid i forgot her name again oh god what the, anyways like you can understand who i'm talking about like they're married but at the same time like she he had a fling with her and then like like Zenith came to know that and like they are living together now like <laughs> like in the modern world this thing is quite you know like impossible at least I think like a situation like this is quite impossible the whole family would be broken down you know like the, the wife would have gotten a divorce and the family would be completely broken down but this world like something like that was going to happen but because like Rudy kind of did something like saved him uh, like saved uh, the whole situation that did not happen and they're like you know living together now so these kind of things they have different rules because it's a different world so i think that is the reason why like you know these people are so vocal about stuff like in front of like young children and it really doesn't bother them like it bothers us but yeah well i've seen a lot <laughs> like yeah anyways like i've seen a lot of anime and these kind of stuff really doesn't bother me anymore you know like it really doesn't bother me <laughs> but it still bothers in a way anyways i'll stop talking about this yeah and then we see the whole thing with oh and we see non and aisha again uh, that was quite nice and they like i'm really unable to understand the time like how this is going like they're talking about rudy's birthday so it's the 10th birthday isn't it and they're like like looking at aisha and non they seem as if like they're three or four year olds but i doubt that many years have passed 
so like do children really grow up so quickly like what the hell like like aisha was cleaning the table like i doubt a one or two year old child would be able to do that like what the hell <laughs> like i never cleaned the table when i was two year old i doubt anyone have <laughs> like oh, i don't know and they even looked quite you know uh like old and they were able to talk like properly like uh no one was talking aisha was also talking like everything's so fast in this world like what the hell like like am i mistaking something like i think two years have passed has haven't it after rudy has left like when rudy was there uh, alongside paul and zenith uh, they were little children um or non and aisha i think they were one or two one years old i'm guessing and then rudy left and then i think almost one year passed so like now uh like they're two or three years old mm. okay maybe yeah they can talk like i think uh in three years old age uh children usually learn how to talk you know yeah okay 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 no no but the whole thing like aisha was you know wiping the table that really is right <laughs> me i was like what the hell <laughs> oh my god anyways um yeah like we saw them uh it's a real uh, like uh like 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 you know like uh seeing them again kind of made us like keep contact with this like we did not forget about like zenith and paul like we sh like they kind of showed us what's happening over there and then came the whole thing with the dragon and there's this guy with dragon scale marks in his uh, like cheek and has kind of weird eyes dragon eyes i'm guessing i'm not sure what that is but it looked like dragon eyes but anyways and the dragon like left her him and there's this girl here like what the hell like what's her name kishi kishirika kishirisu <laughs> Oh my god, I, I'm sorry, I don't think I'll ever be able to remember this name. What the hell is this name? I'll call her Kishi. Like, Kishirika Kishirisu. <laughs> okay, um, like we see this girl, I'm not sure what she actually is. Like she has like horns in her head and she like was like she was leading a imaginary army. <laughs> like she said follow us our people but there was no one behind her so i'm guessing there's some kind of an imaginary like self-proclaimed army that she made up <laughs> anyways and then there's this whole thing with the demon god lapless like someone's going like trying to unseal him or something and like there's this person with beard sitting who like appointed another guy to go and stop the like like uh, what was his name almanfi like this almanfi like in, he said that investigate the source of the mana and uh, slay any suspicious person all right and like almanfi goes to rudy's place and tries to kill rudy but like learning that gilain is the sword king he stops and says that we'll judge you later on and like bails out of the situation and then the whole place blows up i'm not sure what happened like that thing kind of started like reacting with the sky or something and like the whole place kind of you know blew up and another thing that we saw like Ghislaine has different colors eyes one is green and one is red I think the red is a normal one I'm not sure what the green eye is about like she was you know kind of looking at the whole thing with that eye I'm guessing it's some kind of special eye or something and and she said one thing that what incredible mana so i'm guessing that i can measure mana or something you know mana power levels but yeah uh all right so yeah and like a lot of characters got introduced in this like small span of a time like a few things i'm still confused about but i'm sure we'll you know uh everything will be cleared uh like cleared in the coming episodes as we gradually meet these characters and the anime you know progresses so yeah anyways uh okay that was a really 
big long discussion anyways i'll stop here so yeah guys and uh, that was it that was uh mushuku tensei episode number eight so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys um, i'll be back with another episode of mushoku tensei uh next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day